Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take scenes from your Leica that we created in the last video and prepare them to create scenes in Flash. When you're creating your Flash animations, it's best to keep your scenes broken up into different files. This will allow you to better manage your library and it will keep your file sizes from becoming too large and Flash won't start to slow down because of too many assets. Okay, so you have your Leica and now you want to set up Flash for each scene. How do you do that? In your editor, I like to keep track of my scenes with markers. These can be placed by hitting the M button in Sony Vegas. If I double click on a clip, I place the loop regions on this clip. If your scene is more than one drawing, then extend the loop regions so it selects the entire scene. Now we're going to render the audio and video separately. To do this, go to File, Render As, and make sure that the render loop region only is selected. I render out the video as a QuickTime file with the following settings. 400 by 255, 12 frames per second, and 50% quality. This will keep the file sizes small, but still keep the video in the same resolution. Under the audio tab, uncheck include audio. We're going to export this separately. Click OK and save the file in a well-organized location for your project. To export the audio, repeat the video process except select MP3 as the file type. The reason you're exporting the audio and video separately is because Flash audio tends to fall out of sync when using a video as its source. A WAV file will always be exact. Now to import the video into Flash, we need to first convert it with Adobe Media Encoder. Add the file into Media Encoder, change the format to FLV, change the presets to match source attributes, high quality. Because we lowered them in the QuickTime export, we don't want to lower them anymore. Now start your queue and an FLV file of the same name will be in the same location as your QuickTime movie was. Now we can open Flash. Just like I mentioned in our previous video, I want to make my document 1280 by 720 and 24 frames per second. Now go to File, Import, Import Video. On your computer, select the location of the FLV file. Then select Embed FLV in SWF and Play in Timeline. The load external video with playback is used for web pages or presentations that would have control over the video. Now click Next. Make sure Place on Stage and Expand Timeline are selected. Include audio is irrelevant because our file doesn't have any audio. Now Flash will place the Leica of your video on the stage and expand the timeline to exactly how long the file needs to be. Right click on the video layer in the timeline and then select Guide. This way the video won't show up over your animation and won't be exported with it either. It's simply for your reference. Now create a new layer and on that new layer select File, Import, Import to Library and select the wave we exported before. Now in the Properties windows under Sound select the wave file that we've just imported and make sure the sync is set to Stream otherwise you won't hear the audio when you're playing your animation. And there you have it. You've just set up your flash file to start working on your scene. In the next video, we'll export your animation with the best possible quality and place it back into your video editor. Until then, subscribe and stay tuned.